Hi, I'm Sarah Burns, and I'm the fifth grade grade level leader for Everyday Mathematics 4, and I want to tell you a little bit about the content changes to the fifth grade curriculum to Everyday Mathematics 4. So one thing I just want to point out is that this uh, edition is fully aligned to the Common Core State Standards. So one change you'll notice is that there is no content in grade five that isn't fully aligned to the fifth grade Common Core State Standards. So I can tell you a few more details. We can look at this by no domain. So in the domain of number and operations in base 10, in fifth grade everyday mathematics, there's an increased emphasis on US traditional multiplication. So we really develop the understanding of this algorithm conceptually by comparing it to the partial products multiplication algorithm that students already know and through the use of area models. There is an expectation of fluent use of this algorithm by the end of the year. We provide ample instruction and ample practice so that students can fluently use this algorithm. There's also in number and operations in base 10 a focus on decimals. We develop place value concepts in decimals and we really explicitly link these concepts to whole number place value patterns that students already know from previous grades. We do cover uh, all four operations using decimals, but one of the differences from previous editions is that decimal division methods are extended to include decimal divisors. In the domain number and operations fractions, we've really changed some of our fraction representations. We use fraction circle pieces and number lines and drawings to represent fractions, and we use those to build conceptual understanding of fractions and renaming, adding, and subtracting fractions and mixed numbers. We focus on interpreting fractions as a division of a numerator by a denominator. And we do a lot of work with fraction multiplication and developing those concepts using area models and also partitioning. We also uh, help students understand why the formula for area can be applied to rectangles with fractional side lengths using tiling strategies. In the domain of measurement and data, there's a really big emphasis on volume and the development of volume concepts. So in fifth grade, students are introduced to the attribute of volume. They measure volume with non-standard units. They explore why volume is typically measured with unit cubes. And they also generalize two different formulas for calculating the volume of a right rectangular prism. Finally, in the domain of geometry, students use attributes of two-dimensional shapes to classify shapes on a hierarchy. We really uh, extend the work in looking at attributes from previous grades, and really the idea of classifying shapes on a hierarchy is the new idea to fifth grade everyday mathematics.